Legacy High School. It is the Legacy Longhorns and the Palo Verde Panthers. And a great game tonight here. I'm Kenny White here with Sean King. Sean, we got playoff weather tonight and a great playoff game. We absolutely do. I am so excited. Being a former quarterback, Kenny, anytime I can call a game, and I'm excited about both quarterbacks. I mean, they have been tremendous. Crew Daniels from Palo Verde and Aiden Crawford from right here at the home team tonight, Legacy High School. I mean, both of these kids have been outstanding throughout the entire season. They've been tremendous in the playoffs. Water back deep for Legacy. What a night, by the way. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. I see some fire pits burning in the background. What do you think? It's about 64, 65 degrees. Yep. State championship game for your class. These kids got to be excited. Yes, the winner gets a business trip to Reno to play for the state title. So uh, a lot at stake here. Fails in the football game. Turns the uniforms in tomorrow. Back to pass on the first play. Crawford's pass is complete. And that is going to be a first down on the first play of the game. And that's Dominic Oliver on the reception. Yeah, what a catch. Strong hands, snagged the ball. Just accurately throwing the foot in front of the helmet. I mean, that was a better ball than we saw all last night in the NFL game. I mean, the ones who play offense and defense. I know he's just itching to get a chance to get his hand on the ball here on this third down. As I said, Coach Nares, how many snaps will we see? Furious tonight. He said it's playoff time. He will be out there every play. This pass is complete, but a great job defensively. That's Cedric And that's your guy right there, yeah. Keandre Ramsey on the tap. Oh, I'm yeah, that's sorry. Cedric. Defenses and the difference right now in the records is basically the one game they played against each other where Legacy won. I give you a kid to watch. You know, you, I make my little notes, and, and there's some guys that are really good high school players, and some other guys that I think have the frame and the skill set to become major college contributors. Number 10 from Legacy, Keandre Ramsey. One of the better athletes that I've seen this year covering Las Vegas high school football. See what the young man has for us tonight. On offense, haven't seen him take a shot down the field yet. I'd anticipate that's coming soon. Crawford handoff to Craven. Craven's the lightning back, and he breaks a couple tackles. He's into the secondary, down to the 25-yard line, a pickup of 14. Now you can just see the difference where Phoenix Jennings is more gets the ball, and there's just a difference in the explosion and acceleration. So it's a great you know, option for Coach to have. Another running player, 15. Could be close to another first down. We're going to tell he's down at the 17 and a half, 18 yard line, so it'll be second and two. And every time they have success running those inside zone plays, those safeties have to get a little bit closer. And as soon as they start creeping in a little too much, you're going to see Aiden play action and hit something behind them. That's just good football. Here is Aiden Crawford in the pistol. He'll be operating all night. Handoff again. It's off the clock here, Sean. That's uh, really great job by the double could, team, could by the way. Could take a big, take a big of, effect in this it. game later on with that Palo Verde defense on the field as long as they have been. Yeah, that was a great job by the double team. Center left guard combined on the tackle. They reset the line of scrimmage. Really gave Phoenix an opportunity to get downhill before he encountered anything. They're going to mark back to pass. Hayden Trofford throws to the right side of the end zone. It is complete. <laughs> Hand off. I think this is Craven. He's around the corner showing that speed. He's inside the five. And come up with a big stop. Crawford takes a snap straight ahead, right up the middle. Touchdown, Phoenix Jennings for Legacy. Number eight, Phoenix Jennings. Nine minute and 53. Daniels, the little flip. This is Bryant Johnson. Left one to the right. And he fires over the middle. This ball's intercepted. Great interception. And that's Caden Bridgewater. 
Number three, Caden Bridgewater. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Great interception by Caden Bridgewater. But watch at the end of this run. You know, he's got that ball like a loaf of bread. It's not tucked apart. Watch 75 just take it from him. Palo Verde's football has to be. Unless they're saying it right Caden's, out of his hands. Unless they're saying Caden's knee was down. Yeah, I guess that's what they're saying. We don't have instant replay. But maybe Caden's knee touched right before the ball came out. Wow, this is a this really hurts Palo Verde. This definitely was a takeaway. Yeah, it looks like it's coming out, Kenny. Yeah, I, that, that was a ship. Palo Verde defense has been almost six. They're going to mark it out. The left southpaw, Daniels, being harassed, and he pulled back because of illegal motion. Back to pass. Crawford throwing deep down the right sideline. And this is caught by Dominic Oliver. What a catch in traffic. What a catch. And this catch of the night. I mean, watch this great ball by Aiden Crawford. Watch this catch. <laughs> That's tremendous. And he got both feet in. In between, there's a 31-yard reception. Crawford's handoff here to Jennings. And Jennings into the secondary. The big backs down to the 34. That may be another first down. And it is. A working in this first half, Kenny. The run game, the deep passing game, the screen game. Back-to-back -back CSN first downs. Nixon the run with the pass. This is Craven. Nixon running backs as well. And Craven's into the secondary, breaks a tackle at the 25, lunges forward to the 20. Jennings to the right of Crawford. Split backs. Pass is complete. Inside the 20, down to the 16-yard line. That's Dominic Oliver. Yeah, Dominic Oliver's having a heck of a first. This is a great job by him of running after the catch. Fourteen yarder. Inside the UPS store red zone, handoff to Craven. Craven to the right, trying to get around the corner. Breaks a tackle and a second tackle inside the 10 down to the 5. Craven's on these jet sweeps, and they just get you out leverage because you're trying to take away the inside run. Great job by Jennings there of creating the escape. Route. 7 on the scoreboard. Back to throw. Over the middle. Complete. Wide open. Touchdown. Longhorns. Is that Dominic Oliver again? Definitely been the first half MVP. I mean, he's terrific. Look at those arms. You're talking about arm lift, Kenny. Those arms all the way down to his knees. And he's only a junior. They're going to be some big time points to try and get their hands around a commitment from Dominique Oliver. I mean, that's just really good right there. Extends, catches it with his hands. Just, it's tough to make the adjustment when the other team keeps the ball for all but a minute in some of the first quarter. You know, it just changes the, the, the tenor of the game. Yeah. That's Keo Fox, defensive coordinator for Legacy. Most of them are going to be Legacy based. <laughs> Legacy had the ball the entire first half. I mean, we saw all facets of this offense Phoenix Jennings, the big Thunderback, Amaris Craven around the edge. But the most impressive player in the first half for me was Furious Oliver. Right here, you see Caden Bridgewater making a great <laughs> interception. It's been a team game for a legacy, but Dominic Oliver's really, really still.
Of course, Aiden Crawford, highly touted. He's thrown some great balls, but look at that catch, man. That's both feet in. Like that's, you don't teach that. Either you have that or you don't. And this is another one right there. I mean, he just was tremendous. He's a junior. He will be one of the team. We'll see if we can get a play here. Well, we had one play already. That was a 78-yard touchdown run by Bryant Johnson. Uh, the swing pass is complete out to Craven. He breaks the tackle across the 25. I, mean, I saw the, the speed and getting to the outside. I figured it was Craven for sure. Right. The big fella saying, hey, I can make guys miss in space as well. Crawford. Handoff. This is going to be a big gainer across the 30, the 35, the 40, out to midfield. A big run. And that's feet for both defenses. This is a good job. They kick out the backside. Green, number six, makes a bad read. And next thing you know, Jennings is all the way into the secondary. Great tackle by Fury. That defense trying to get off the field, get that offense back on. Crawford, swing pass out to the wide receiver, Dominic Oliver. And he is going to get a first down here. Breaks a tackle inside the 40. This Crawford, is a double this pass. Is a backwards pass. Oh, I thought it was going to be a double pass. I thought it was going to be a double pass, but it wasn't. And it's a broken tackle. And down to the 30. Pushed out of bounds. In the game, Jennings and Crawford. Handoff. This is this is Cra Craven. Craven breaks a tackle. He's across the 20. Down. To Here's Crawford. He throws the left side end zone. Touchdown. Wide open is Dominic Oliver on the field tonight. In my opinion, wide open. This is a great play designed by Legacy and Coach Monticelli and his staff. But that's just a blown coverage by the Panthers. I don't think he wants a mistake here, obviously. The way the defense has played tonight, really just one breakdown. Uh, the 78-yard run by Bryant Johnson to start, and that is where Palo Verde will start. You know, we really haven't seen a massive mistake by the Panthers after what should have been a, a, a great situation, a two-point conversion. It's a... Give it to the big back. He'll take it down the field. It's Jennings. In and first down. Yeah, this is an excellent job of just bouncing this outside by Jennings. Team. Phoenix Jennings has been the workhorse here in the second half. We haven't seen as much of Aramis Craven as we <laughs> Crawford looks over the field. He's going to be looking for Dominic Oliver. No, or is it Craven? It's Craven breaking a tackle. The field. Injured player on the field. What do you think the max range is? For it's the a great question. Kicker? I'm not 100 percent sure on uh, 21 to 18. As we watch some yeah, highlights, we'll take a look here at the highlights of what we have witnessed so far in this football game. Through the first three quarters of the game, Sean, it's been uh, some big plays. Yeah, it's just been really Legacy's ability to run the ball at will. Uh, they, they're averaging. Oh. Aiden Crawford back to pass. Throws deep down the right sideline. Touchdown. A beautiful catch. Or oh, play some kind of wheel linebacker. End up being a phenomenal contributor for a college. Six foot, 490 pounds. Brian Johnson behind him. Hand off to Johnson and take him down. A two yard loss. Legacy with the tush push. They fake it and it's Craven around left end and he's going to get into the end zone. Touchdown, <laughs> Legacy. I like the call. call. Tremendous execution by the players. That was a Oh. Well, I didn't notice it came up short. To me, it was straight. I thought it was good, but you're right. It was short. Oh. Well, I didn't notice it came up short. To me, it was straight. I thought it was good, but you're right. It was short, and it's 34-18. Alba's kick bounces at the 15, taken at the 10, and hit at the 25. Great. We'll look for Hoskins, see if he'll go deep here. Uh, Daniels rolls to his right, throws his pass is deflected. 
and incomplete. Again, no. No, that's no, 51 time. right there. That's our man Tyrell Holloway. November. And told them if they worked as hard as they could in the weight room, out on the field, and listened to us and bought into each other, that this would happen. Um, and they accepted the challenge. This is all the players and the assistant coaches, man. They all worked hard around the clock. I, I have the best staff in the world. I have the best kids in the world. And legacy is going to be a problem from here on forward. Well, we have this MVP trophy, and everybody agreed over 100 receiving yards, two receiving touchdowns. It is going to Dominic Oliver. Will you accept this for him? As it should. He's the best player in the state of Nevada. Thank you, Coach. Congrats again Appreciate to it. your team. Legacy Longhorns going on to state. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Alex. There you go. The 5A Division Three South champions, and they'll be headed to Reno, Sean. Hat tip. Legacy came in from the opening drive, kind of set the tempo, created the atmosphere that was necessary to come away with the win. You got to be super proud of these guys, and I just hope they go up and culminate it next week by actually bringing home that state championship trophy. You're right. The game started with a 10-minute drive. They went down the field and punched in a touchdown to go up 7 nothing. It, it kind of took some of the wind out of the sails of Pal Verde, but give, give the Panthers credit. They never gave up. They did. They did it. They kept scratching. They kept clawing. They just couldn't find a way to take away the run game from the Longhorns. And, and at the end of the day, it overwhelmed them, and it was enough to lead this legacy high school team to its first birth in the state championship game here in Nevada. Of course, again, before we get off, we want to wish all the – health and, and blessings and well-being to Dominique Oliver, you know, and hopefully Legacy can go to Reno next week and find a way to win a state title. Hopefully he'll be on the field. Uh, M our MVP tonight was Dominic Oliver, as you saw, uh, and our best wishes of shots at go out to him. And, and a special thanks to everyone in the Maya LV TV family. It's been an outstanding year. This is our, our last game of the season. We wish all the teams best of luck in state championship, but the entire crew, they pulled it off tonight. We had some, uh, we had some issues to Tonight, but it worked. We got the game in, um, and we've got a champion now uh, here with the Legacy Longhorns. Special thanks, Sean King. Another great year by you, Alex White, the entire crew. Thank you, Dave and Steve. Um, outstanding job in the truck, guys. Uh, we thank everybody, the audio team, the video team. It's been a great year. Uh, wishing everyone a happy holidays, rest of the end of the year, and looking forward to uh, 2024 football already. So, that's it from Legacy High School and Thursday Night Lights Football, sponsored by Las Vegas Honda Dealers. It's been a great year, folks. Thanks for tuning in with us and spending time with us in the 2023 football season. Best of luck to Legacy at State. 365 days ago in November, and told them if they worked as hard as they could in the weight room, out on the field, and listened to us and bought into each other, that this would happen. Um, and they accepted the challenge. This is all the players and the assistant coaches, man. They all worked hard around the clock. I, I have the best staff in the world. I have the best kids in the world. And legacy is going to be a problem from here on forward. Well, we have this MVP trophy, and everybody agreed over 100 receiving yards, two receiving touchdowns. It is going to Dominic Oliver. Will you accept this for him? As it should. He's the best player in the state of Nevada. Thank you, Coach. Congrats again Appreciate to it. your team. Legacy Longhorns going on to state. Guys, back to you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Alex. There you go. The 5A Division Three South champions, and they'll be headed to Reno, Sean. Hat tip. Legacy came in from the open drive, kind of set the tempo, created the atmosphere that was necessary to come away with the win. You got to be super proud of these guys, and I just hope they go up and culminate it next week by actually bringing home that state championship trophy. You're right. The game started with a 10-minute drive. They went down the field and punched in a touchdown to go up 7 nothing. It, it kind of took some of the wind out of the sails of Pal Verde, but give, give the Panthers credit. They never gave up. They did. They did it. They kept scratching. They kept clawing. They just couldn't find a way to take away the run game from the Longhorns. And, and at the end of the day, it overwhelmed them, and it was enough to lead this legacy high school team to its first 
birth in the state championship game here in Nevada. Of course, again, before we get off, we want to wish all the health and, and blessings and well-being to Dominique Oliver. You know, and hopefully Legacy can go to Reno next week and find a way to win a state title. Hopefully he'll be on the field. Uh, and our MVP tonight was Dominic Oliver, as you saw. Uh, and our best wishes and shots at Guatim. him. Uh, and a special thanks to everyone in the Maya LVTV family. It's been an outstanding year. This is our, our last game of the season. We wish all the teams best of luck in state championship. But the entire crew, they pulled it off tonight. We had some, uh, we had some issues tonight, but it worked. We got the game in. Uh, and we've got a champion uh, here with the Legacy Longhorns. Special thanks, Sean King. Another great year by you, Alex White, the entire crew. Thank you, Dave, and Steve. Um, outstanding job in the truck, guys. Uh, we thank everybody, the audio team, the video team. It's been a great year. Uh, wishing everyone a happy holidays, rest of the end of the year, and looking forward to uh, 2024 football already. So that's it from Legacy High School. And Thursday Night Lights Football, sponsored by Las Vegas Honda Dealers. It's been a great year, folks. Thanks for tuning in with us and spending time with us in the 2023 football season. Best of luck to Legacy at State.